Welcome to our service this morning and today we'll continue with our alphabetical exploration of the non-subscribing Presbyterian Church and we'll begin with a hymn which Laura will play for us. Well, we've got to the letter C now in our A to Z of non-subscribing Presbyterianism. And if it's letter C, then it must be collecting ladles. Now, here's an example. Here's a very fine example. Now, this collecting label belongs to Dan Patrick. It's one of six that are held by Dan Patrick, and like, like all of them, it has a very uh, long arm, a long reach, and it's made of copper, and it's inscribed. And the inscription on this one reads, The gift of David Cadell, merchant, to the dissenting congregation of Dan Patrick, 1754. And that in itself makes this an interesting object. As I say, here in Downpatrick, there are six of them. Now, four of them are all the gift of David Cadell in 1754, which makes them, I think, amongst the oldest uh, that are in this denomination. One of them is blank, has no inscription and no date. And one of them has an inscription that reads, The gift of John Graham Coppersmith down 1769 so another very old example but one of the most important things about these downpatrick collecting ladles is that they are used every week or at least they are in normal times uh, in ordinary services uh, these are the means for taking the collection and they were designed for this church and you can see by the long arm on them that they are intended for use in the box pews that the church has that's a way of getting to every corner and it's nice to think this connection continues with the 1750s and the 1760s uh, these devices are used in exactly the same way as when they were first made and the same is true at Belize as well where the copper collecting ladles possibly date from a little bit later on and are also inscribed and were also uh, the gift of the local Catholic Church which almost or over 200 years ago uh, were unable to use their own building and used the Belay meeting house for their services and on their departure presented the collecting ladles to the church, which again are in use every Sunday. Well, of course, uh, these ladles aren't in use at the moment because of the requirements around COVID. Uh, you're not supposed to have a collection during the service, only a retiring collection. Although if anything was designed uh, for social distancing, then it would be these 
collecting ladles, which enable you to uh, collect the money while staying at a respectful distance, probably close to two meters uh, while doing so. Now many of our older churches have collecting ladles like this and in some places they uh, fix the wall to make a sort of decorative feature other places they're kept uh, somewhere special but they're not really used usually they're made of copper and look exactly like like the ones we have here in down patrick uh, sometimes the, the the collecting part is made of wood and the ones in cloth uh, are made of wood and probably date uh, from a good bit later but this is the way by tradition we take the collection in our churches we pass around a plate or we go around with collecting ladles during the service and most churches do that that's the way they collect their subscriptions because as non-subscribers people sometimes say people sometimes think and people sometimes really believe that that means we don't put any money on the collecting plate or we don't pay any money into church house well we don't really pay any money into church house but we do put money on the collecting plate indeed if we didn't put money on the collecting plate our churches would close because these items which are historically interesting certainly also exhibit an important part of our life as churches uh, we have to pay for the upkeep and the maintenance of our witness and as has always been the case uh, this isn't cheap and it depends on people showing their commitment by making financial contributions there's no no other way around it we all have to uh, put our hands in our pockets to support our churches and we all should want to do that we all should value doing that because it's a it's a, a way of showing our appreciation of our churches and our belief in the mission and importance and witness of our churches. So these people who made these 18th century uh, collecting ladles were creating something that was important in those days, something that uh, was a unique sort of feature of church life. In many places the ladles aren't used anymore, but in some places they are. And they signify something of what's important to us. Our churches are important and that means we have to give financially as well as giving our time, as well as giving our commitment and our prayers to help form that community that is the church. A reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 6 to 8. The point is this, the one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and the one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance, so that by always having enough of everything, you may share abundantly in every good work. Well, let's join together now in the fellowship of prayer. Let us pray. Spirit of love and gentleness, shed abroad in our hearts the cheering light of your grace. You know our faults, our failings, our necessities, the dullness of our understanding, the waywardness of our affections. When we neglect to practice what we know, visit us with your grace. Enlighten our minds, rectify our desires, correct our wanderings, so that, guided by your grace, we may be preserved from making shipwreck of faith, and at length be landed safe in the haven of eternal rest. And all our prayers we ask in Jesus' name, who taught us when we pray to say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Well, in a moment, Laura will close our service with, with a hymn. And we thank Laura for playing for us today. So let's just close now with the benediction. Now, O Father, may thy gracious blessing be with us all. May thy truth direct our minds, thy love possess our hearts, and thy peace rest on our spirits this day and evermore. Amen.